What if you devour mold? You must have seen it grow on your fruit and devour your leftovers, as it might hide in the basement of your house. I present to you mold, it smells bad and has a creeping appearance, and even if you don't know much about it, you must keep it far enough to know out of your mouth as much as possible, but what will happen if you eat some of it without your knowledge, what will it do to your body, and are there some cases that can make it taste really delicious your day can cause you nausea or diarrhea as some of them can be used to make fancy sweets and others can almost kill you. So how do you know what kind of mold you are dealing with and is it enough to only eat the ingredients of your food around the mold without approaching it? Here I ask as a friend mold is microscopic fungi that you can find living on plants and animals and even on buildings. Mold forms thin threads called fungal threads, and these can penetrate inside food, which you may miss seeing because of its difficulty trash so we work together to put together a guide that might help you find out. If you find mold in soft food like yogurt, jams, peaches or tomatoes, you should get rid of it completely, but if you find mold in hard foods like cheese, carrots, or hard sausages, it's okay to remove the mold spots and then remove the rest. Mold is difficult to penetrate through tough and denser foods, meaning it cannot penetrate fast enough that it can do so through foods the freshest. We suppose you don't have such toxic evidence, and you've devoured some of the rotting food, what will happen to you? Well, the biggest problem won't be the mold itself, it's the other things that come along with mold, that can really harm you. The first, is the invisible bacteria that can accompany mold, urgent frequent trips to, the bathroom but this does nothing to mention, the harm that can be done to you, if you ingest what is known as mycotoxins mycotoxins are toxic, substances produced by specific substances from molds, and can be found in, a wide variety of foods and can withstand, all types of food processing, on corn and peanuts, large amounts of them can cause cancer, and a decrease in the resistance of the immune system, but what we can tell you, is that not all types of honey are harmful. In fact, some people deliberately eat mold, such as blue cheese, for example, which is produced using non-toxic blue mold. These types of honey are especially, it resists pathogens and breaks down proteins, which is why blue cheese has a soft texture and a sharp flavor. Like most things on the surface of the globe, more than the ones we've been able to see, of course, it can make you sick, but it's also the basis of, one of the antibiotics he knows. History so far penicillin, may be another innovation, that will change the world, with the triumph of its discovery amidst, this rambling blue noise.